Okay, before we even get started on this, okay, I want to look at the anchor chart that you guys are going to use on the quiz. Okay, so look at the anchor chart that we're going to use. Okay, the first one we did on Monday was rectangular prism. Okay, it was length times width, width times height. Okay, and the rectangle was the base. Mm -hmm. This one, okay, the first word is rectangle. It might also be a square, okay, but pyramid means that I divide by About what? Three. three. So I use the same formula up top, but I just put divide by what? Three. Three. Okay, yesterday is when we changed the first word. So we changed it to triangle. Okay, triangle should signal in our brain to divide by what? Two. 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 Now, something that we realized yesterday, and I didn't realize it in y'all's class yet, I did it in eighth period, and it was awesome. So yesterday we had the first part of the formula where we said base times height divided by two, right, times h. And we do the triangle up top and then the rectangle, right? We were really good at that. And I crossed out the what? The, no, the slant, slant side, right? Slant. You will never use those. But what we realized yesterday is after I cross out the slant, I have how many numbers left? Three. 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 If I just multiply all three of those numbers and divide it by two because it says triangle, I get the exact same answer. Yeah. So it's like one less step I have to do. So I'm going to say it one more time. Rise around me. I cross out the what? Slant. Slant. Okay. I have how many numbers left? Three. Three. What do I do with all of those? Multiply. Multiply. And because it says triangle, I'm going to divide them all by what? Two. Two. Okay. Now, today, we are moving in to triangular pyramid. Okay. Triangle means to divide by what? Two. Two. Pyramid means to divide by what? Three. So, if logically we could think about this for a second, what do you think I might be dividing by? Six. 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 So I still cross out my what? Slant. Slant. You're going to end up with how many numbers? Three. What am I going to do with them? Multiply. And divide by what? Six. Eyes are pure real quick. The easiest part of this is you're going to have the words there on your test. They'll be there. It'll say rectangular pyramid or triangular prism. If you practice underlining and putting the division sign where it needs to be, you'll have memorized the formulas. Because what do I notice about the top of all of them? They're all three. They're all what, Micah? Link times, link times, link times. They're all link times, link times, high, and we know that one. Pyramid means to divide by what? Three. Triangle means to divide by what? Two. If I have a triangle and a pyramid, I divide by what? Six. So whenever we talked about using the formula chart and rewriting all the formulas before the test, right, this is an easy way that I can do that, okay? So we're going to focus on these today. We're going to erase and replace. replace. And then the last, like, 15 or 20 minutes, you guys are going to take a five-question quiz. Are we ready? Yes, Okay? So, on your notes, pencils are moving. Okay? I want you to put a box around the word triangle. Okay? okay triangle means to divide by what? Two. Oh, two. Two. So, I want to see that above the word triangle. Okay, pyramid means to divide by what? Three. Okay, so let's go through the steps of how you might solve this before I teach you the shortcut. Okay, so it's going to say identify the base. Give yourself a little arrow over from this and I'm going to have you add in one more thing. Pencils are moving. The base is the word in 
in front of prism or pyramid. <coughs> Okay, and then it says find the area of the what? Of the base. Of the, of the base. base. And what letter did that represent? Volume. Big B. Big B. Remember Big B in the volume. Okay. Then I multiply the area of the base times the times the what? Height. Height. And then because it's a pyramid, I'm supposed to divide by 3. That would be the normal process, okay? Which would be really complicated because there's like three extra steps. I want you to put a star next to shortcut. Put a star next to shortcut, okay? Underline the word triangle. If I see triangle, that should signal in my head. Gabriel says divide by two. Felicity says divide by two. So I'm going to write divide by two. If I also see it paired with a pyramid, divide by three. Jacoby says divide by three. divide by three. Which would mean both together means a pencil's moving. Write this down. Triangular pyramid means to divide by what? Six. Six. But the top part stays the same. I just have to cross out the slant. Okay? Okay, so here's my hit. Multiply three numbers, the ones that are left. And divided by six. Michael says and divided by six. And I want you to add one last hint over here. Put a hint. I love how everybody's pencil's moving. Hint. Don't forget to cross out the slant. Don't forget to cross out the slant. Okay? Let's turn our paper over. We're going to try four practice problems. Okay? Here we go. On number one, I want you to write the word. <coughs> Triangular pyramid. I need to see it on your paper 100%. Okay, and then I want you to practice. Underline the word triangle like it's in a word problem. What does that mean? Uh, divide by, by two. two. Okay. Yeah. Underline the word pyramid. Divide by three. Michael says divide by, by three. three. Which really means in total, I'm dividing by what? Six. Six. How do you get six? You multiply, you multiply two the two. So if I'm 2 and 3, let's see what's 2 times 3. See where we get the 6 now? Yeah, Does that make sense? Okay. Volume equals, pencils are moving, length times width times height divided by what? 6. 6. Now I look for the slant. Is there a slant in this problem? No. No. And I can recognize that also because there's how many numbers? Three. 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 Now, I erase and replace. replace. Okay. Work it out on your paper, go. This 
might help you stand up here in the right spot. Hey, is 240 my final answer? No, no. No, but it, is that probably going to be an answer choice? Yes. Yes, to try to trick you, but I have to make sure I divide by what? Six. Six. So my final answer, let's see if this is what you got. Do we get 40? Yeah. Yes. yes. What are my units? Centimeters. Centimeters. It's volume, so it's to the power of three. three. So it's cubed. Okay, let's go to the next one and write it. Write the word. Triangular. Pyramid. Underline the word triangular. What does triangle mean? Divide, Divide by, by two. two. Divide by two. Pencils are moving 100 percent. Pyramid means Divide by three. Which means in total six. I'm Divide by divided by six. Write the formula. Here we go. Volume equals length times width times height divided by what? Six. Six. And let me help you if you can't see these. Oh, that's a five. Erase and erase. Don't yell it out. Check to see if this is what you got when you multiply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I still have to divide it by what? And I need to equal 15. Okay, and I need to put my units. Centimeters. Centimeters to the power of three. Okay, last two. Let's look down here for a second. Okay, and I want you to make sure you can see these. 5.2, 6, and 10. Okay. Now. Uh, the, uh, Gabriel had a good question. He said, Miss, can I not just put 5.2 to 5? The only time I can round this is if I have a what type of question? Oh, estimate. Estimate or... Round. If I have a what kind of problem? Multiple choice. Remember how we were using 3 for pi if it was multiple choice? Yeah, if it's 0.14, then I'm using gridable. So if I have multiple choice, could I not just make my life smarter, not harder? So I could change 5.2 to what? Okay, let's do it. Let's pretend this is multiple choice. What's the shape? What's the shape again? What's at the bottom? Triangular. Triangular. And it comes to a point, so it's a what? Okay. Underline the word triangle, what does that mean? Jacoby says divide by two. Pyramid means? In total? What do I do with all three numbers? Erase and replace. replace. Don't yell it out. Let's check to see if that's what you guys got on top. Mm -hmm. Yes, Is that probably going to be a choice? No. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Right? Because they're going to try to trick you. 
But I gotta make sure. Oops, that should say six. I divide by what? Six. Top goes. Bottom. And bottom goes out. Fifty. What are my units? CM3. Inches to the power of three. All right, last one. Perfect. Let's wait. We're all going to finish right triangular. Pyramid. Perfect. Triangular means what? Pyramid. Divide by three. Total. Divide by six. Is there a slant in this one? No. No. I only have three numbers, which are the ones I'm going to use. So if there's four numbers, there has to be a slant. There's probably a slant in there, yes. Good question, Michael. Okay. Erase and Erase. don't yell it out. you guys got on top? Yes. Is yes. it probably going to be a choice? Yes. 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 Divide yes. by six. Top goes and then bottom goes out. How many times does six go into 48? Eight times. It goes in evenly mm -hmm. and add a what? Zero. Zero. What are my units? Inches. Inches to the power of three. Three. Yes, because some reason I always get to the, uh, to get oh, to Oh, so that's probably a trick that you might got to remember to do. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's go over the review one more time. Go to the anchor chart. Eyes are up here. Okay, if I see rectangle and prism, do I write anything above them? No, no it's just length times, length times length height. height. If I see the word rectangle and pyramid, what do I write above pyramid? Divided by three. three. Divided by three. And I still do length times width times, width times height, height divided by three. three. If I see triangular prism, triangular means divide by two. two. So I still use length times width times height divided by two. two. I must remember to cross out my what? Slants. My slants. Okay, there might be more than one. At the end, you should be left with how many numbers on your paper? Three. Three. Okay, if I see triangular pyramid, what goes above triangular? Divide by two. Above by pyramid? In total, that means divide by six. The top is still length times width times height. I still must remember to cross out my what? After I figure out which formula to use, all I need to do is erase and replace. Are we ready for our quiz? Yes. Okay.